Hello students today let us learn conversion of isometric view to orthographic views let us take the first problem 7.1 so as you can see here f stands for front view t stands for top view s stands for side view so in side view we are able to see this triangle so let us take the right plane as my sketch plane to draw the triangle and let us extrude it for 15 mm right so let us now switch on to solid works select part click ok so as you can see the part tree here front plane top plane right plane select right plane either you can click on extrude or you can go to sketch click on sketch so right now we are in sketch plane that is a right plane as a sketch plane and go to line start from the origin draw the triangle draw the triangle so in the triangle the dimensions are given 20 okay 35 so these dimensions are given in the question exit sketch select the sketch go to features click on extrude now extrude it for 15 mm 15 click okay so this is how you can draw a simple uh, triangular block now let us generate the views before i generate the views let me save the file give the file name as 7.1 save now go to file click on make drawing from part select a4 switch off this display sheet format type sheet dimensions as 297 210 click okay now you can see towards your uh, right side the views have been generated automatically the scale has been adjusted according to the dimension of the object right click on sheet 1 go to properties first angle apply changes now you can once again go back to view palette there you can extract the front view first drag it and drop it now just move the cursor towards your bottom of the sheet so you can see the top view similarly move the cursor towards your right or left you will get the corresponding side view then the isometric view so like this you can generate the views of any given component press escape to come out of it place the isometric view here front view top view here then comes your right side view which is on lpp select the isometric view make it to shaded model select the front view switch on the hidden lines in this case there are no hidden lines now let us go to smart dimension and dimension it So this dimension is 20, this dimension is 15, and this dimension is 35. Clear? Go to settings. That is options, document properties, dimensions. Remove trailing zeros. So like this, you can complete this problem.